Hi. A few days ago, a student uh, uh, emailed me to let me know that he was having some trouble with the CC3000 uh, Wi-Fi module from Adafruit. Indeed, I checked it out and um, I discovered after a bit of digging around that the, um, the CC3000 module was having trouble uh, converting uh domain names into IP addresses. So in particular, as the, uh, I, as the um, uh, sketch reached this line here, where I was trying to um, do a TCP connection uh, to this IP address, uh, it was getting stuck and nothing was working after this point. So I looked up uh, higher into the sketch and uh, I pinpointed the problem here, right at this line and uh, specifically uh, at the get host by name function. So this would never come back with uh, true, therefore would the, the CC3000 module um, could never uh, convert the domain name into an IP address. The sketch did work if I did this conversion manually. So for example, for google.com, I used a uh, calculator and converted the uh, domain into this 32-bit uh, number. So uh, if I hardwired the number uh, like that, then IP address was defined and uh, the connect TCP function worked fine. The rest of the sketch just worked. So I was wondering what uh, was causing this issue. It turns out that the problem was with the firmware inside the CC3000 chip itself. So uh, to solve it, I would have to upgrade. Now, I was wondering what version of the firmware I had installed on the chip. Uh, I bought it about uh, a year ago. So I went to the um, CC3000 library examples and I started the build test sketch. So take the build uh, test sketch and upload it to your Arduino to see the version of the firmware that you have installed. So it's uploading, done, completed. So I bring up the monitor and you can see, let's see, so it's a MAC address. So firmware version 1.24. All right, so version 1.24, what does it really mean? The next thing to do is to go to the uh, Adafruit CC3000 Wi-Fi documentation, to an excellent document, a lot of details here. And you want to scroll down to firmware upgrades. And uh, scroll down a bit further, there is a table somewhere here. Here it is, that gives you an idea of um, uh, which uh, version of the CC3000 firmware you have as it corresponds to the version that the build test uh, report uh, gives you. So the one that I've got right now is 1.24 which corresponds to firmware um, CC3000 firmware version 1.11. Um, right, so uh, I had a look at the uh, CC3000 chip documentation and uh, the newer version, I believe uh, version 1.14 is the one that resolves the DNS uh, resolution problem. So to do the upgrade, the easiest way would be to download the latest version of the library, even if you've got um, an earlier version, so download it say a year ago, because uh, Adafruit has been including uh, those patches um, as part of their library, just to make it easier to do the upgrade. So you can see down here that they've got uh, drive, driver patch 111, 112, 13, and up to 14, which is the latest one. So download uh, the library. Another gotcha that it took me a while to figure out is that the driver upgrade sketch only works with uh, earlier versions of the um, Arduino IDE. So in this case, I'm running the latest is 1.6.3, but you need to downgrade to say version 1.0.5 in order to run the upgrade sketch. It's not such a big deal because you can have multiple versions of the Arduino IDE uh, working uh, at the same time. You don't have to uninstall uh, a newer version to install an older version. So 
What you do is you go to the Arduino website, go to old software releases, previews, and download the latest, sorry, the, the, uh, one of the 1.0 uh, versions. So I downloaded, let's see, 1.05 uh, is the latest for uh, this available here. I got the one for Mac OS 6. I'm sure it works for Windows as well. And once you have it, I downloaded this one earlier. This is 1.0.5. Just run it. All right, and here's 1.0.5. Also note, I just remind you that I have downloaded the latest version of the uh, CC3000 library from Adafruit, and it's right here. Okay, so next thing to do is to go and load the, uh, so the driver patch 1.14 sketch, and... Uh, just uh, upload it to your Arduino. Once it uploads, bring up your monitor and then um, put your cursor in the inbox and text box and just type any number and hit return. So this is going to start the upgrade process so it's uh, writing the firmware into the CC3000 module. And it's complete. So you can see here it says that uh, firmware 1.32 has been uploaded. If you go back to the Adafruit documentation, you'll see that firmware, uh, as reported by build test, 1.3 2 corresponds to CC3000 firmware 1.14, the one that contains the fixes for the DNS. And uh, if I want to confirm that, I will get build test. See, I'm still running 1.0.5, but build test works anyway uh, in any version. And um, run it and upload it to the Arduino. And let's see what it reports. There we go, 1.32. So we've got the latest uh, firmware uploaded to the CC3000 module. So let's go ahead and test it. So I'll bring, let's see, bring up the um, web client sketch, the one that earlier caused me trouble. So here I need to give it the credentials for my network. Give me a second to do that. Okay, that's correct. Now upload. Done. Let's see what's happening now. Initializing, so attempting to connect to my home network. connected. So it's getting the credentials and it worked. So you can see that uh, adafruit.com was resolved successfully to its IP address and once that was done any HTTP GET requests were successful. So Hope that helps you upgrade your CC3000, a really good module anyway. Uh, there's newer ones, newer ones out, uh, but still, why upgrade? This was a $30 module, still works well, especially after you do these um, simple firmware upgrades. So hope that was useful. Any questions or comments, please email me at peter at txpo.com or message me on Twitter at futureshocked.